So now we understand the graphical notation and mathematical notation and how to simulate these pattern nets. And now it's time for the analysis. And the typical analysis on the simulation of the pattern net is the reachability analysis. Okay. <clears throat> So we need some uh, patch, uh, a patch net, a sample patch net for an analysis case, and we are going to introduce this patch net with three transitions and two prices. These transitions, uh, the T two is common, but T one doesn't have an incoming arc. And that means that it does not have a required condition for the incoming arcs. Similarly, uh, and T3 does not have the outgoing arc, means that it does not being restricted to the, uh, uh, the, the outgoing arc's place uh, capacity. Okay? So now uh, we specify the patch net, and this place has a capacity of 2, to max 2. Then uh, what we can do is the reachability. Finding the a uh, finding the set of system-wide states. System-wide states. So this is a system, and we want to find out the system-wide states that are reachable from the given initial state through x number of transitions. Okay. So given state is let's say zero comma zero. Okay. So this is a place place. Now this is what this is the state. Really, I said that places and states are different thing, and this place, okay, this is a place uh, uh, with zero tokens, and places and tokens together specify the state, and it has a zero token and zero token, and zero comma zero state, right? That's being done, and now. What is the pageable uh, transition? We only have one pageable transition of T1. And let's say T1 can be fired. And our next state is going to be what? Is going to be, since T1 is being executed, we have one token here, and it's going to be 1, 0. Right? Right. Then, uh, what's the, our next feasible uh, choices of transitions? T1 and T2, right? Uh, T2 can be now fired because we have one token here. And we have T2 and we have T1, okay? And if T1 is being fired, we are going to reach to the T, comma, zero. If T2 is being fired, we are going to reach to the T0,1. And then, are we able to execute uh, another T1? Maybe not. Why? Because then we have capacity being here. Capacity of 2 being here. So that 2 is being met, we cannot execute any further T1. What we can only do 2,0 state is firing T2. And then we can fire T2 and we can come up with 1,0, 1, uh, 1, 1, right? 1,1. 1, 1. And then uh, T2, uh, if we have 1,1, 1, 1, the feasible transition will be T1, T2, and T3. Okay. So now what we can do is that we can fire T1, we can fire T2, we can fire even T3. Mm. And T3 fire will make uh, 1, this corresponds to this setup, and T3 being fired, this token will be moving out and in 1, 0, and already that state is specified being here, so going back through the T3, right? And we do all these expansions, right? All those expansions, and let me ask you this, let me ask you this. Is it possible to reach to the 3, 3? This is not reachable. This is not reachable state. However, are we able to reach to the 0, 1? Yes. How many transitions are there? One transition and two transitions will be needed. 
Are we able to reach to, to the 1,1? Are we able to reach to the uh, 0,2? Yes. One transition, one transition, one transition, and one transition. Right? So this is the reachability analysis, and this is the reachability graph. And here, reachability graph is different from PetriNet. It can be generated from the PetriNet. It has a graph structure and state, transition, state, transition and state and transitions okay so that is the reachability analysis and there is one more analysis that we can do is the Leibniz analysis so Leibniz analysis is whether a transition can be fired or not let's uh, have this one sample uh, network of the uh, patrinet so some of these are uh, transition can be fired or some of this transition cannot be fired okay so this Leibniz has a level of Leibniz one is dead so this transition is being dead it cannot be fired forever however and one l1 live is okay it is not being it cannot be fired at the moment but in the future maybe it's possible and for Leibniz can be always fireable okay so these are the Leibniz uh, analysis and then this is an example something uh, so there is a dead transition in this pattern and let's stop here pause the video for a moment and try to identify what is the dead uh, transition here okay let's find out so there are multiple transitions here so p1 and here we have t1 and p1 uh, t1 can be fired because that it will only require p1 and the dot is token is, token is there so it can be fired that's good so p3 can have one token here all right all right so this is not a dead transition. Having said that, let's examine T3. Okay, so t is it feasible to fire? Yes, it is. P1 is coming in. And that will output P1 again. P1 again, right? P1 again. However, however, it will replace a token here and it will place a token there. So imagine that T3 will be fired and this token will be gone. However, again, it will have one token here and also it will generate one token here. Okay. And then uh, here, this token can be utilized to fire this T2. However, however, it will require um, here P3 place token. So, is it feasible to fire T2? Let me check. P1 will be removed to be fired so p1 is gone by the firing t1 here place a token here t3 p2 and p3 now have a token if t2 is being fired requirement is being met p2 token will be gone p3 token will be gone however it will create one token here. Okay, good. But so 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 this it can be executed, and this was, and our only candidate is T zero. So T zero must be a dead transition. Why is it? Because if uh, so, T zero we require a token on P one and token on P three. However. If T2, T1 is being fired, P1's token will move to P3. 
so that it doesn't have any token here. So requirements cannot be met. If T1 is not being fired, there is no way to get P3 token from the initial setting. So P3 will be empty place and P1 will have only one token and P3 will be empty. So T0 cannot be fired. So that T1 can move around token from in between P uh, from P1 to P3. However, T0 will require token at the simultaneous time on P1 and P3 and they cannot be met. So T0, even though it looks legitimate or fireable um, uh, transition, cannot be fired. Okay? So this is a dead transition. So this liveness could be an interesting aspect that it looks all legitimate place and the transition and token placement, uh, token assignment. However, based upon those uh, token assignments and or like network structures, some transitions are there, but it's meaningless. Okay, that is the check of the liveness and also an analysis on the reachability. So now we are turning ourselves to uh, an, a simulation scenario uh, and that one particular like sample scenario is dining philosopher problem. So dining philosopher problem is this. Um, it is initially introduced, formulated the Dijkstra in 1965 and then Dijkstra is someone that you already know, right? Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm. And a example is a typical example in explaining the Patrinet. Okay, and model scenario is this. We have one, two, three, four, five, and five philosophers, and they want to eat spaghetti. And these philosophers are so weird people, and they have to think when they are not eating. And they are, when they are eating, they are not thinking, okay? So either they are in the thinking mode, thinking state, or eating state. Okay, to eat a spaghetti, it, they somehow require two forks. Okay, they require two forks uh, to load up and uh, put that spaghetti on the, uh, in their mouth. And then, the, uh, however, the fork is being placed for five and they are going to share it. Okay, hmm. not an ideal situation, but uh, we have five forks and five philosophers, they need two forks to load up and eat that spaghetti, okay? And infinite spaghetti are being there and philosophers are never going to get full. And can you design a Petrina system to model this type of scenario, okay? And of course, you can. And this is a Petrina model uh, for such case. And uh, here, uh, this is, uh, this uh, complex pattern net, like uh, show you the, um, the places for eating and thinking and pork being used, for example, like this. So here, transition of start thinking, and this is the thinking place. Okay, so here you can follow it from this transition. It will create one token on the thinking place. And philosopher should be thinking and also fork, two forks, two forks are, should be ready, should be ready. And these are the two forks next to each other. And then uh, this one, one, one token is being ready. Transition can occur. This transition will be what? Start eating. Start eating. And this place is for eating. Okay, then this is fork is being used, two fork is being used, and then he stopped thinking and now eating. Okay, and then 
he start thinking again and this token is lost and re returns him to the thinking mode and also at the same time perk is being placed on its original position again. And then if the fork is being ready, ready, and this another next one, next philosopher maybe start eating. Okay, maybe start eating. And so forth. So uh place for eating, thinking, and forks, ready, transition, start eating, start thinking. Is it this consistent? Like there should be some kind of by, uh, boundary for, for representing a, a philosopher here. So here, a pla or transition or philosoph of transition or places or arcs related to the one philosopher entity, human being, is like this. So this is represents a one single philosopher, and another single philosopher is being placed like this and like this and the perks are being placed here one two three four five okay one two three four five five forks so forks are being represented as places and philosopher is a collection of uh, of place and transition unboundarized boundarized, without boundary and uh, actors are not being modeled ex uh, explicitly and processes only being modeled how the perks are being used what they are doing at the moment that is being that process is being modeled however actor itself as a single entity it is not being modeled so anyhow, this is how we can uh, draw a petri net to model that dining philosopher's problem and we are going to do some exercise in the offline session.